I was able to improve the financial outcome of the company by a hundred million dollars in a half hour meeting. I really want to make sure that there is a good future for humanity and that we're on a path to understanding the nature of the universe, the meaning of life, why are we here, how do we get here. And in order to understand the nature of the universe and all these fundamental questions, we must expand the scope and scale of consciousness. Certainly it must not diminish or go out, or we, we, we certainly we won't understand this. So I, I would say I'm motivated by curiosity more than anything, a desire to think about the future and not be sad, you know. I'm sometimes sad, but relatively optimistic about the future these days. There are certainly some big risks that humanity faces. I think the population collapse is a really big deal that um, I wish more people would, would think about. Um, the, the birth rate is far below uh, what's needed to sustain civilization at its current, at its current level. And we, we need to take action on climate sustainability, which is, is, ha is, is being done. And we need to secure the future of consciousness by being a multi-planet species. Take whatever actions we can think of to address the existential risks that affect the, the future of, of consciousness. Well, I think if you want the future to be good, you must make it so. Take action to make it good. And it will be. I wouldn't worry about the, the sort of putting people out of a job thing. Um, I think we're actually going to have, and, and already do have, a massive shortage of labor. So I, I, th I think we'll, we will have um, a shortage of labor even in the future. This really will be a world of abundance. Any goods and services will be available to anyone who wants them. It'll be so cheap to have goods and services, it'll be ridiculous. It, it will be a world of abundance. The only scarcity that will exist in the future is that which we decide to create ourselves as humans. Well, like I said, you know, AI and robotics will bring out what might be termed the age of abundance. And, and that this is my prediction, will be an age of abundance for everyone. Uh, the, the dangers would be the artificial general intelligence or digital superintelligence decouples from a, co a collective human will and uh, goes in a direction that for some reason we don't like, uh, whatever whatever direction it might go. The idea behind Neuralink is to try to more tightly couple uh, collective human will to uh, the to, to digital uh, superintelligence. And also along the way solve a lot of brain injuries and spinal injuries and that kind of thing. Every good hour or even minute of thinking about Tesla and SpaceX has such a big effect on the company that I, I really try to work as, as much as possible, you know, to, to the edge of sanity, basically. You know, t Tesla's getting to the point where, probably will get to the point later this year, where every high quality minute of thinking uh, is a million dollars to impact on, on Tesla, <laughs> which is insane. If Tesla's doing two billion dollars a week, let's say in revenue, it's sort of 300 million dollars a day, seven days a week. There are many, many instances where I was able to improve the financial outcome of the company by a hundred million dollars in a half hour meeting. For, for sure, it would be very problematic if I was consuming, you know, billions of dollars a year in, in personal consumption. But that is not the case. Um, in fact, I don't even own a home right now. I don't have a yacht. I, I really don't take vacations. I mean, the one exception is a plane, but if I don't use the plane, then I have less hours to work.